glad to have with us this morning from the organization Stand for Courage, Gabriel Hunter Sin and Sarah Caples. I have to say, I was so inspired after hearing about your organization, and they will be connected, by the way. Mm -hmm. So first of all, explain to someone, Gabriel, what Stand for Courage is all about. So Stand for Courage is a bullying prevention foundation, started in about 2011, and it's all about incentivizing bystanders to stand up to become upstanders. Right. It's all... Sorry. Oh, go ahead. No. Well, so, so one of the main premises is that we all have personal power, and bullying is a misuse of personal power. And by, by becoming an upstander, you're taking back your personal power. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And so, Sarah, what made you get involved in this project? Um, the really most exciting thing about it is we're living in a time where our conversations are polarized. Mm -hmm. There's them and there's us. Mm -hmm. And everybody's angry and everybody's pointing fingers at who's at fault. And this approach is more about taking responsibility and ownership over we're all part of the same culture and we're all playing roles that are very similar. We've all been the bully. Mm -hmm. We've all been the bystander who does nothing. We've all been the victim in one form or another. Mm -hmm. And so to understand the, the sociology of the situation from that perspective, I think heals it mm -hmm. instead of creating this kind of unsolvable problem that maybe we pay lip service to. Mm. So I was really inspired by this cause because of the approach. Yeah, mm. and I have to say, I love that you pointed out there are always three people in that situation. Mm -hmm. the, the bully, the person being bullied, and then the person who's witnessing everything. Mm -hmm. And the program is available for schools, but if you think about it, even in our adult lives, mm -hmm. we encounter situations as any, in any of those roles, mm -hmm. particularly one of bystander. Mm -hmm. right? Well, exactly, and that's part of the reason that we want youth to get involved as early as they can, because then they have a skill set that carries into the rest of their adult lives. So what are some of the skills you encourage kids to use in schools as a bystander when they witness something? So there's a couple of different actionable items we like to call them, right? Things that okay. youth can do to resolve these adverse situations. So saying, hey, let's go do our homework or saying, hey, we don't like the way that you're talking to him. You know, that's not how we do it at our school. Diffusing the situation and, and, and resolving it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And Sarah, what are some ways that people can get involved with Stand for Courage? I know you're going to be connected. We can yeah. learn mm -hmm. more. How can we get this message to go into more schools or get involved? The website. Um, mm -hmm. There's a kit that schools can download mm -hmm. um, to activate their culture within mm -hmm. the school using the leadership in the school. So mm -hmm. what it, okay. by leadership, I mean the kids who are strong leaders, mm -hmm. kids who are popular, kids that other kids look up to mm -hmm. for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. They can form organizations and start sending the message throughout the school mm -hmm. that we're not going to just stand by mm -hmm. and watch these things happen. We're going to be actively involved mm -hmm. and uh, create a new culture mm -hmm. at our school. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. One of the amazing things about Stand for Courage is that it snaps into or to, to programs that already exist, mm -hmm. and you don't have to call it Stand for Courage. So we're, we're in over 70 schools in Colorado, and a lot of those schools don't even call it Stand for Courage. They just adopt the, the principles, the ideas, right? Yeah. The structure of, of having bystanders become upstanders and nominating youth who are outstanding in the community. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And I'm sure over time, as you've um, been with, involved in the organization, mm -hmm. you've heard people say, well, I don't want to get involved because what if something goes wrong? Mm -hmm. And they have that fear that if mm -hmm. I speak up, I yeah. could end up in a really bad situation. Mm -hmm. What do you tell people in response to that? Well, there's a nomination process mm -hmm. um, that I think it, it directly deals with that issue. Kids are celebrated for standing mm -hmm. up in this program. Mm -hmm. um, there's a huge component where the mm -hmm. community is asked to go to the website and nominate kids who've done something mm -hmm. to heal or distract from mm -hmm. something negative. Um, and that kid, those kids are going to get shout outs mm -hmm. on KEXP on the John Richard mm -hmm. Show. Oh, nice. Yeah, so. so it's almost like you're shifting the culture to make actually speaking up a popular thing to, to celebrate do. the bystander. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So there's a, a desire and a drive to be mm -hmm. that person as opposed to focusing so much mm -hmm. on the two people involved in the bullying dynamic. Mm -hmm. yeah. And before we go, do you have any advice to, to anyone who, whether they be a kid or an adult and they witness something and they mm -hmm. want to be able to, to be that person? Because I'm sure if maybe you've been there, you hear something, you see something, and you think minutes later, oh, I wish I would have mm -hmm. said this, or mm -hmm. I wish I would have done that. What are some things we can keep in mind? So the name, something that's really important is it doesn't have to be a big heroic act. Okay. It's as simple as diffusing a situation, saying, hey, let's, let's go and let's have lunch, right? Let's okay. go somewhere else. It doesn't need to be a big heroic 
moment, it, it doesn't have to have umph to it, right? Like a confrontation. It doesn't or have to be taking confrontational. Taking somebody down and telling them mm -hmm. off or whatever. So even distracting yes. and, exactly. and, yes. and shifting the focus can exactly. be powerful as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, is and there maybe any more powerful? Really? Yeah. Okay. And one of the things that we know is that nine times out of ten, bullies bully because of the attention they get from yes. others. And standing complicitly does still drive that narrative. And so even just one person saying something, that changes the culture. I love it. I'm so glad we have this organization. Mm -hmm. And so you will be connected Absolutely. at the event. Yes. Mm -hmm. And people can learn how they can get this mm -hmm. in their schools. Um, is there anything else you want us to know before you go? Just we want people to be excited to nominate. If mm -hmm. you know anyone who's already participating in this uh, bystander proactive behavior, mm -hmm. get on the website nominate them. Okay. and nominate mm -hmm. them so that they can be recognized by the community. Okay, let's say yeah. the website again. What's the website where people can nominate someone who's... Standforcourage.org. That is so easy. And go to the nominate section. Okay, standforcourage.org, <laughs> go to the nominate section. Big Sarah and letters. Gabriel, Big thank you letters. so much for thank sharing you. this yeah. message. Yeah, no more bystanders, stand mm -hmm. for courage. Yes, stand I love up, it. Thank stand you. up, stand out. Thank you. Connected.